When I was a kid, my granddaddy had 39 hammers in a box. Why 39? Because he hadn't bought the 40th yet. He didn't have a screwdriver, he didn't have a pair of pliers because he felt the hammer was the perfect tool. Perfect tool in as long as it worked, you know. If it ever missed the nail, that hammer was defective. Hammer number two came out of the box. If he missed that nail, hammer number three. You could tell my granddaddy wasn't much of a carpenter or builder, but he could beat the crap out of just about anything. <laughs> well, one of the things that he used to make for me were little things called granddaddy's helpers. Now, one of the things I've always learned to do as a left-hander was to get in the way of anybody. Not really <laughs> the honest lick yeah. in the state, but I can get in your way. So one of the things he would make for me were these little bird calls. Thank God he wouldn't use his hammer to make those. He was pretty good with a pocket knife. And he'd send me off down where these things we call cowbirds, they're white egrets, they would come in in the afternoon. And my goal was to be able to try and mimic the sound of those egrets on this little granddaddy's helper whistle. And I got pretty good at it after a, a pretty good while, not too good in the beginning. But it made me think as a grown man that, wow, isn't that maybe how all music probably began? We had to start listening to what was going on around us, what sounds were happening around us, and what tone was in the sound. You probably wouldn't have a fella sitting out in the middle of the Mississippi Delta playing a horn like Charlie Parker because he doesn't have that kind of sound around him. Doesn't mean he's not as frustrated on his worst day. And it doesn't mean that he doesn't hear things. But one of the things that I noticed, and particularly in the blues, and when you wanted to hear somebody, you always made two sounds. One of them was a real high tone. And that would travel way, way across wherever it was you're going. And that high tone, you hear it all up in the Appalachians, where it travels in the mountains. You hear it out in the delta, especially when you're trying to call across a field. And then you hear that real low moaning tone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Lots of folks use that and you hear it in a lot of music.